Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. So first of all, what do you need to know as we go into a fresh week? Well, we have seen hedge funds and money managers. They have increased their net long positions in both gold and silver contracts in the latest week. We've also seen an increase in the net longs on platinum. Gold essentially gained just under 1% in the latest week. And of course, we saw a breakout with silver back above $18 and platinum significant breakout over a 4% move to the upside. Now, certainly we've capitalized on these breakouts in the latest week. On Friday, we banked 400 points on gold over two positions. We banked 370 points on platinum and 150 points on oil. So with that, let me just take you over to the charts and I'll talk you through the levels and what we're anticipating here as we go into next week. So first of all, moving over to gold, two major news items that you want to have in your diary as we go into next week. Well, certainly on Wednesday, we have the FOMC statement, which can be a catalyst for large moves, certainly in the precious metals and also for the US dollar, of course, as well. And then on Friday, we have non-farm payrolls. Now, over the last week, and particularly on Friday, we did see optimism again between the US and China trade packed as well with the S&P 500 breaking out into the close on Friday, giving a bit of pressure on gold, in fact, into the close. But essentially, I am looking at more range bound trade again for gold as we go into next week. I'm expecting the potential to move within approximately about a 300 point range and for rotation back towards those supportive levels around the 1500, 1490 zone, and then the potential to come up and tap again this level of resistance, which resides around that 1520 level. We broke out to 1,517 US dollars per ounce just on Friday. You can see here the amount of times that we continue to see gold get a bid, not only on the daily, but also on the weekly chart as well. So each time we're really coming down to that 1490 to 1485 zone, we're not closing around those levels. We continue to see gold catch a bid, but at the same time, we're not really seeing a full-on breakout to the upside just yet on gold. Each time it's attempting to break out, we're not seeing that follow through and closes at the weekly highs just yet. Another point to be aware of on gold right now is of course this bull flag which is developing on the weekly chart which does have the potential to start building up momentum into the month of November. Now next week I'm expecting a little bit more of range bound price action due to the major news items that we have coming out but then as we move into November typically the beginning of November in particular can be quite strong for the precious metals. I am looking at the potential after we've continued to consolidate within this range for eventually a breakout here of this weekly pen formation. So going into next week, I'm looking to capitalize on really any breakdowns back below that 1500 level, the 1490, 1495, 1500 zone. I'll be looking at buying evidence again at that level and we'll certainly be anticipating another reattempt to break or certainly tap back towards last week's resistance and potentially just get above that zone. Now again, where many traders are getting it wrong again here with gold is they're FOMOing in right at the top. We mentioned last week that we were buying in at these lower levels that we'd been a establishing positions here. We established positions last week at 1484, 1494. We banked 400 points on Friday, protected the trade. We've got some of our positions still running going into next week, which is all in profit. But just be mindful, many traders, they're getting trapped in these technical bull traps right now where they're getting FOMO, fear of missing out. They're buying in too high. They're getting trapped into these positions. And just at the lower end of these ranges where we're essentially buying into gold, many technical traders, purely technical traders are looking at these as sell signals with a close right at the lows there and they're starting to get triggered into their technical strategies for a sell short just as gold is about to catch a bid and again hedge funds and money managers they have increased their net long positions in the latest week not only on gold in fact but also on silver so let me talk you through silver so silver as I mentioned previously we've got our position on still from $16.98 we do continue to hold on to this position we've had half profits bank now we're letting the rest of the trade run at the moment it's up over 100 points to the upside we've had a really nice breakout in the last few days here silver so far this month is up just under six percent over october and essentially as we go into next week i am looking for more of a consolidation but if you go over to the higher time frames very similar to what we're seeing on gold right now and in fact the gold silver ratio did break down on friday we're starting to break out of that weekly bull flag formation silver is leading so the gold silver ratio broke back towards 83 to 1 on friday I'm looking at more upside on silver as we go into next week, but range bound to upside. I'm looking for a breakout back above last week's highs. But again, you don't want to be getting FOMO and buying right in at the highs. You want to buy in at the dips. Okay, that's the best way to really capitalize on these moves 
on the precious metals at the moment. As I mentioned with Platinum, we banked 370 points. I identified this the previous weeks as well, where we had this significant sell-off going back towards the end of September, that end of quarter profit taking that we saw not only on Platinum, but also on gold and silver. And after that, we continue to consolidate throughout October. We built positions here under the $900 level. In fact, our position is at $885. We continue to let the rest of that trade run. At the moment, the rest of our trade is currently up approximately 450 points into the close on Friday with bank 370 points partial profits we're letting the rest of that trade run so that's worked out very nicely indeed for platinum then moving over to crude oil as I mentioned we banked 150 points on this position last week we went through it in detail where essentially any pullbacks back towards the lower end of our ranges here we were looking to buy back in and that's really been the case throughout the month of October for those of you that watch our oil asset of the day analysis that we put out each week again we've been discussing this multiple times where the play really here is to look to buy right in at these key magnetic levels of support and take advantage of these rallies back towards levels of our perceived resistance. So last week we discussed we were looking for a breakout on oil asset of the day back towards that 55 US dollar per barrel handle. In fact, many of you did capitalize on that move as well to the upside that we've seen in the latest week. That's worked out very nicely indeed. So you can see here where we continue to create higher lows on oil in the latest week and then over Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. In particular, we had that nice breakout and significant surge to the upside. So as we go into a fresh week here, what I'm actually looking at is the potential to add to my long positions here on a retrace back towards $55 per barrel. Okay, so if we do get a pullback, which I am anticipating next week, back towards that $55 per barrel handle, that's where I'll be looking to establish additional long positions, and then essentially take the price back towards the $58 US dollar per barrel handle for oil. Okay, so that's the plan on oil as we go into next week, expecting a bit more of a consolidation, but essentially I'm looking for higher prices. Again, going out to the weekly chart, which I discussed previously, Previously, we've now broken above the last couple of weeks of highs. We've had fairly significant surge to the upside, which has benefited our long positions here. Again, very similar to gold at the moment in terms of lots of these high wicks, which were providing support at 51 US dollars per barrel. And we finally had a really decent flush to the upside, quite a significant short squeeze as well. And we're essentially looking for more upside this week towards that $58 per barrel handle. So again, next week, the major news items, which can be catalysts for some really explosive moves are going to be that Wednesday's FOMC statement, Friday non-farm payroll as well and as we mentioned before it's very important that you do have an edge in the markets that you're not using outdated technical analysis strategies that aren't working in today's market conditions you want to really be taking a research driven approach to the market where you're utilizing market intelligence you certainly want to pay attention to what the retail traders are doing versus the hedge funds and money managers in this market you want to marry that up with market sentiment trade flow cycles in the market as well as seasonality and with that you also want to marry that up with fundamentals geopolitical news and then you generate your trade idea which of course then gives you an edge because using technical analysis alone that's not going to give you an edge so with that that's been the week ahead commodity report and of course if you would like to join a community of successful traders there is an opportunity for you to join us at the gold and silver club as a member of the Gold and Silver Club, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You have access to our real-time trade alerts, as well as trading research and market insights, access to our private members academy membership site, and also access to support and one-to-one -one mentoring. For more information about the service, just go to www join the live trading room.com the link is also below this report in the description so just click on the link make an application and we will of course get in touch with you asap and do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel that way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports